En el año 2010, mi linda esposa y yo fuimos a la ciudad de Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, y por cinco días de vacaciones. In the year 2010, my lovely Aztec princess and I took five days vacation, and we went to the city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, for vacation. Ahí experimentamos eh, las tortas de bistec y queso. Experimentamos el famoso estatua de, de uh, Rocky, mi, mi, este, mi gemelo. Um, we, we spent five days in Philadelphia, and that span we, we ate the famous cheesesteaks. You know, that they actually put cheese whiz in those cheesesteaks. It's really interesting. Uh, we, we went and worshipped the statue of Sylvester Stallone at the art museum. We ran up and down the stairs like he did, jumped around. Y luego pasamos mucho rato con uh, las cosas históricas que hay en esta ciudad. And then we spent a lot of time looking at, it, at the historical aspects of this city. You know, this Thursday we're celebrating July 4th, which is our Independence Day. And in Philadelphia, you can actually go into the room. It's called Independence Hall, where they sign the Declaration of Independence. And it's about the same size as our church building right here. It's this size. It's very small. And uh, it was really emotional for me. Y entramos en el, se llama la Sala de la Independencia, ahí donde firmaron la Declaración de la Independencia. Nuestros uh, uh, padres fundadores ahí en este salón. Y está más o menos el mismo tamaño de este lugar. Muy, muy chiquito. Y fue un momento muy emocional para mí ver este este lugar, uh, so many cool historical things in Philadelphia, but it, it makes you think a little bit about freedom and what freedom means. Y nos hace pensar en la libertad que tenemos. Estos hombres nos dieron libertad. These men in that room gave us freedom. Y luego caminamos un rato y vimos la famosa campana de la independencia. And then we walked a little ways across the block and we saw the famous Liberty Bell. Y en la campana de la independencia tiene este versículo de Levítico 25.10. Y está, tiene ahí en la campana misma, proclamarán libertad en la tierra para todos sus habitantes. And on the Liberty Bell is inscribed Leviticus 25.10, part of the verse where it says, proclaim liberty throughout all the land and to all the inhabitants thereof. Proclama la libertad a toda la tierra y todos los habitantes de la tierra. Proclaim liberty throughout the land and all the inhabitants thereof. The cool thing is that this really wasn't a revolutionary statement. They used that inscription and that bell to celebrate the freedom of the slaves after the Civil War. In fact, they took that bell all over the United States as a celebration of the freedom of slaves. Uh, esta libertad de que hablan no era la libertad de la revolución, era la libertad de los esclavos después de la guerra civil. Y transportaron esta campana por todos los Estados Unidos como celebración de la liberación de los negros esclavos en los Estados Unidos. Proclaim liberty, proclama la libertad. Well, Jesus talked about freedom and liberty in uh, John 8, Cristo hablaba de la libertad en Juan 8. Y estaba hablando con unos judíos. Y en el 31, Cristo dijo a los judíos, si creen en él y mantienen fieles a sus enseñanzas, serán realmente sus discípulos y conocerán la verdad y la verdad los hará libres. And Jesus told these, these Jews in John 8, 31, he said, If you follow my teachings and you believe in me, then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Y luego respondieron, pero somos hijos de Abraham, somos judíos. ¿Cómo que, cómo que no tenemos libertad? Somos libres. And they said, but we are Jews, we're children of Abraham. What do you mean we need to be free? We are free. We're Jews, we're children of Abraham. Y él respondió y dijo, no, 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 todos los que son esclavos al pecado, todavía son esclavos. And then he told him, no, 
Anyone who is a slave, who keeps sinning, is a slave to sin. Is a slave to sin. Y luego, estas palabras hermosas. Uh, ahí en el 35, las palabras muy conocidas y hermosas. Dice, así que si el Hijo los libera, serán ustedes verdaderamente libres. And then we find these beautiful words in 35. He said, if, you're, if you keep sinning, you're a slave to sin. And then in 35, he has these beautiful words. But if the Son sets you free, you are free indeed. You are free indeed. A veces somos como estos judíos. Decimos, pero Jim, ¿cómo que somos esclavos? Yo soy americano. Yo tengo mi libertad. Soy libre. El problema es... Que por causa de Adán, todos somos esclavos al pecado. Aunque somos libres, somos esclavos al pecado. But you say, Jim, what are you talking about? I'm an American. I'm free. You can't tell me that I'm a slave. I'm free. But Jesus says that if you sin, you're still a slave. You're not free. You're still a slave. Even if you're a free citizen, you're not, you're not free. You're a slave to sin. Anyone who has struggled with a bad habit or with a particular sin or a bent towards sinning understands what I'm talking about. It's a, it's a, you're chained up, you're trapped, you can't escape, you feel like you're no way out. Alguien que ha pasado por un vicio fuerte entiende de lo que hablo en esta mañana. Son como cadenas y uno no puede escapar. Eres como esclavo a este vicio. Un esclavo. No, no eres libre. It's like you're chained up. It's your, you're trapped. You're stuck. You're a slave to sin. Mi, mi ejemplo favorito es el ejemplo de, de un puerquito. El puerquito es sucio porque es puerco. Y juega en el lodo. My favorite example of this is a pig. A pig loves mud. A pig is born to, to roll in the mud because he's a pig. And you can take the pig out. You can give him a nice bath. You can put a tuxedo on him. You can put cologne on him. You can dress him up in a little bow tie. Give him little pig shoes. And as soon as you release the leash, the piggy is going to head right back to the mud. Puedes sacar el puerquito de lodo. Darle un buen baño. Uh, vestirlo en un smoking con todo y corbata unos zapatos de puerquito bonitos eh, con, con perfume pero en el momento en que, el, que sueltas el puerquito ¿a dónde va a regresar? al lodo ¿por qué? porque es puerquito Why? Why doesn't that pig enjoy the, the tuxedo and the perfume and the nice shoes and the, and the Dallas Cowboys socks? Why? Why does he run back to the mud? Because he's a pig. You and me are sinners. We're born with a sin nature. It's stamped in us. We're slaves to sin. We have a bent towards sin. Tú y yo nacimos en pecado. Somos pecadores. No podemos escapar este cuerpo de pecado. Tenemos esta tendencia de pecar. Queremos siempre regresar al lodo. We're full of this sin nature that bends us toward doing the wrong thing and not doing the right thing. If you don't believe me, just take care of a little group of toddlers for a few minutes. Their bent is not toward being good. The bent is toward being evil. If you walk out of a room of little children and leave them to their own devices, they're not going to suddenly all do good and build little things. and they're, they're, It's going to be chaos. Si no me creen, deja un, un salón de niños sin supervisión por unos minutos. Déjalos ahí sueltos. ¿Y cómo va a terminar esto? En caos. Porque estos niños chiquitos también son pecadores. Y los judíos, no, no somos esclavos, somos judíos. Y Cristo dice, 
Todos los que pecan son esclavos al pecado. The Jews said, no, we're not, we're not, we don't need to be, to be uh, freed. We are already free Jews. And he says, no, anybody that's a sin is slave to sin. Entonces, ¿cuál es la respuesta? What is the answer? Well, it's definitely not positive thinking. That works for a while, and then it'll fail. It's definitely not the power of, of uh, pulling yourself up by your bootstraps. That works for a little while, and then fails. Uh, Benjamin Franklin talked about becoming, he wanted to become humble. So for six months, he tried really, really hard to be more humble. And then he wrote in his diary, I feel so proud of myself for being humble. And then he lost his humility. Podemos nosotros mismos con nuestras propias fuerzas tratar de no pecar, pero funciona por un tiempo y luego ya no funciona. Podemos eh, tratar de usar pensamientos positivos. Funciona por un tiempo y luego ya no funciona. You can try this stuff called manifesting, where you just manifest. That might work for a little while. I'm sorry, but you have a sin nature and it's eventually going to conquer you. It's not going to work. Hoy en día los chavos hablan de manifestar todos sus deseos. Manifestar, ser un mejor hombre, funciona por un tiempo y luego no funciona porque todavía existe esta naturaleza pecaminosa. I love these positive thinking people. Like I can look in a mirror all day long and say, I'm skinny, I'm skinny, I'm skinny, I'm skinny. It's not going to work like that. It doesn't work. ¿Cuál es la respuesta? What's the answer? Paul screams this out in another passage of the New Testament. He says, who will rescue me from this body of sin? Pablo, en, en un momento de desesperación, en una de sus cartas, grita, ¿y quién me va a rescatar de este cuerpo de pecado? Las palabras claves de Cristo Jesús. Cuando el Hijo te libera, eres verdaderamente libre. Who the Son sets free, is free indeed. He's the only one that can take your sin from you and give you a new heart and a new spirit and change you from the... Have you ever tried to be a Christian without Jesus? It sucks. It doesn't work. It's like running in the sand. It's really hard. ¿Han tratado de ser cristiano sin Cristo? Vivir como cristiano sin Cristo Jesús, sin ser nacido de nuevo, es imposible. Es como correr en la arena, es difícil vivir una vida cristiana sin Cristo Jesús. I just, I'm going to do the wrong thing every time. Mi mamá eh, era muy chistosa y una vez eh, escribió en Facebook, <laughs> dijo, dijo, eh, oré a Dios que si su voluntad era comer una dona, cuando llego a Krispy Kreme, voy a encontrar un lugar en mero frente para mi carro. My mom was really funny. She wrote on Facebook one time. She said, I prayed to the Lord if he wants me to have a Krispy Kreme donut, when I get to Krispy Kreme, I'm going to find a space right in the front ready for me. Y dijo, después de seis vueltas, encontré un lugar ahí en mero frente. And she said, after I drove around the block six times, I found that space. The Lord answered my prayer right there in the front. Wow. I've prayed that same prayer. <clears throat> ¿Quién me puede rescatar de este cuerpo de pecado? Who can rescue me from this body of sin? Uh, well, <clears throat> you have to be born again. There's no other way. You're, we are so rotten and so sinful that we actually have to be born again. We have to start over. And Jesus says in John 3, unless you're born again, you can't see the kingdom of heaven. La respuesta es que tenemos que ser nacidos de nuevo. Es la única respuesta. Cristo dijo en Juan 3 que somos tan llenos del pecado que la única, única respuesta es comenzar de nuevo. Ser nacidos de nuevo. You have to start over and be born again. Y Cristo pagó el precio de nuestro pecado en la cruz. Él sí vivió una vida perfecta. Él sí triunfó sobre el pecado. Y luego ofreció su cuerpo como a sacrificio perfecto. Jesus paid for your sin on the cross. He's the only one that was able to get through his whole life sinless. And he made it all the way to the cross 
And then the Bible says that he offered his body up as a sacrifice for our sins. And you won't make it. You cannot, you, you cannot conquer sin. You can't get past all these things that have, that have tortured you your whole life. You can't do it without the help of Jesus. Y no puedes conquistar el pecado. No puedes conquistar, no puedes sobrepasar esta batalla con, con ti mismo que has tenido toda la vida si no aceptas el sacrificio de Cristo. La Biblia dice, la sangre de Cristo Jesús me limpia de toda maldad. The Bible says, the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses me from all sin. From all sin. And that takes care of this bent. And he gives you the victory over sin. And you don't have to you know, roll around in the mud anymore. Ya no tienes que jugar en el lodo. Porque la sangre de Cristo Jesús nos limpia del pecado. La Biblia dice que él, uh, dice que él, Echa fuera nuestro pecado en el mar. The Bible says that he throws our sin into the deepest sea. I don't know. My brother Sam used to have a t-shirt that said, If I'm okay and you're okay, what was this for? And it showed Jesus on the cross. Mi hermano Sam tenía una playera con las, con las palabras... Si estoy bien y tú estás bien, ¿por qué fue necesario esto? Y era un dibujo de Cristo en la cruz. Mira, no estás bien y yo no estoy bien. You're not okay and I'm not okay. Somebody had to die. La Biblia dice que Cristo sufrió azotes, humillación, máximo dolor, Separation. The Bible says that Jesus suffered whippings and beatings and pain and separation and betrayal and humiliation. And we know the story about how naked on the cross he was completely and totally left alone by God the Father, full of your sin and my sin. Peter said that the, our sin was carried by him on the cross. And as all that sin was pressed into his Holy Spirit, along with all that pain, he screamed out, God, why have you forsaken me? Why, why such a horrific scream like that? Because he was carrying your sin, your sin, my sin, all of it on the cross. La Biblia dice que cuando Dios puso en su Santo Espíritu tus pecados y mis pecados, que gritaba estas palabras tan horribles, mi Dios, mi Dios, ¿por qué me has abandonado? Pero ¿por qué? Porque traía en su espíritu tus pecados y mis pecados. Pedro dice que él uh, en la cruz llevaba nuestros pecados. Nuestros pecados. Y la Biblia dice que Dios lo cortó de su presencia. Y ahí estaba solito y con mucho dolor y con nuestros pecados. The Bible says that God cut him off from his presence and he was alone hanging on the cross alone and humiliated with your sin and my sin bearing down on him the sins of the world y luego escuchamos las palabras tan bonitas consumado es y murió and then we hear these beautiful words it is finished and he put his head down and he died y en este momento compró salvación, perdón y vida eterna por nosotros And in that sacred moment, Jesus purchased eternal life and forgiveness for you and me. And he took away this awful burden of sin. Y quitó esta carga del pecado. Y la Biblia dice que ahora somos verdaderamente libres. And the Bible says that now we are really free. Yeah, we're free as Americans and we celebrate that on Thursday. We don't have to eat Uh, fish and chips anymore. We don't have to eat bangers or whatever else they eat over there. We are free Americans, right? But Jesus is the one that freed us from sin. El jueves celebramos nuestra independencia, nuestra libertad de Inglaterra. Ya no tenemos que comer su comida, caer de rodillas en frente de sus reyes. Somos libres, pero Cristo es el único que nos puede liberar de nuestros pecados. Maybe you're here today 
and you've been trying your best to do the right thing and live a moral life and get through and make it just on your own. I, I can do it. It's just, you know, like the little train, the little engine. I think I can. I think I can. I think. And now you finally realize, no, I can't. I just keep failing and failing and failing. Quizá tú estás aquí en esta mañana y has tratado de vivir una vida moral, una vida buena, una vida que, que a Dios le agrada, pero ha sido tan difícil en tus propias fuerzas. Y has pensado, pues sí se puede, sí se puede, pero a través de los años has visto que no se puede. Que regresas al lodo, that you just keep going back to the mud every time. You get a little victory, you end up going back to the mud over and over again. Listen, there's nobody, there's nobody else that can free you but Jesus. Nobody else. Nadie más te puede liberar. Solo Cristo te puede liberar. Solo Cristo te puede liberar del pecado. Ezequiel dice que él quita nuestro corazón de piedra y nos da un corazón nuevo. Ezekiel says it like this, that God takes out our hard heart, our stone heart, and gives us a, a new heart, a heart of flesh. Maybe your heart's gotten really hard. It's just hard. Well, he can take that hard heart out and give you a new heart and a new spirit. And you will call on him and he will answer you. Un corazón nuevo, un espíritu nuevo. Y puedes clamar a Cristo. Y él te va a responder. Si has sido esclavo de algún vicio por años. Y no has podido conquistar este vicio. Cristo te puede liberar. If you've had this habit that for years has been torturing you. Jesus can free you. He's got the keys. He can take off those chains. Jesus is still the chain breaker. Él te puede liberar de estas cadenas que has tenido por años y años y años. Y te puede dar libertad y una nueva oportunidad. He can give you a new chance, a new morning, a new day for you and your family. It really is true. <clears throat> He said, man, Jim, I'm not a slave. I'm not a slave. Maybe. Think about it. Think again. But Jim, no soy esclavo. No soy esclavo. Si tienes el Hijo de Dios, entonces sí, eres libre. If you have the Son of God, then you are really free. Really free. Vamos a orar a Dios. Jesus, we, we are so grateful that when we didn't deserve it, you took our sin and you carried it on the cross and you gave us a clean heart and a new heart and a new life and you gave us freedom. So te damos gracias que cuando éramos llenos del pecado y sin esperanza, Moriste en la cruz en nuestro lugar, Señor, y cargaste nuestros pecados en la cruz y nos diste vida eterna y somos libres del pecado. We thank you, Jesus, that, that we are really and truly free. That we have a new heart and a new spirit. Gracias, Señor, porque somos libres. Y tenemos un corazón nuevo y un espíritu nuevo dentro de, dentro de nosotros. And that we are no longer slaves to sin, the slaves to fear. Ya no somos esclavos del pecado, esclavos del temor. Lord, I pray for anybody here that, that is still carrying that sin and trying to do it themselves, trying to make it. Jesus, help them to throw that upon you today. To say, Jesus, take my sin. Take all my burdens. I need a new heart. 
Señor yo te pido por todos que están aquí cargados de pecado que pueden echar sobre ti sus pecados say Jesus I'm sorry I'm so sorry I've tried to do it myself please save me please come into my life Cristo he tratado de vivir mi vida conquistar mis gigantes yo mismo Señor ahora Señor sálvame yo acepto lo que hiciste en la cruz por mí just talk to him in your own words talk to him in your own words say Jesus take my sin take my sin take my shame take it all gracias Cristo and we pray this in the strong name of Jesus amen